All right. So what is logic? It's a great question. I'm glad you asked. And I'll be happy to tell you. But first, we need to get some basic concepts out of the way. Some basic definitions taken care of. So once we describe what logic is, you'll understand what we're talking about. And the first of such things are statements. Now, statements are sentences that are either true or false. Now, I mean, you have lots of things that are sentences, like, let them eat cake. That's obviously a sentence. It's called, it's a command. It's saying, well, it's saying let them eat cake. But for our purpose, I mean, it's not really something that can be true or false, really. I mean, it's a command. Can a command be true? No, not really. So this is not a statement. Similarly, what is your favorite color? This is not a statement. I mean, it's how would you say what your what is your favorite color is true or what is your favorite color is false? It doesn't really make sense. It's it's not a statement. So we ignore these things when we're dealing with logic. We're like, nope, don't care. They're in the English language. Linguistically, they're important, but logically, not so much. However, another statement that says like, I am your father, or just I am your father. Now that can be true or false. If I'm speaking, then yeah, this is this is true, or this is false. Well, I am not your father. But it is false, and that makes it a statement because statements are either true or false, and this thing is false. Now if this is over here, Darth Vader. And this over here is Luke. And Darth Vader says to Luke, I am your father. Then that's true. We're saying that that's a true statement. The important thing is that statements can be true or false. Now, what does it mean when we're saying true or false? Though? You're like, what is true? What does this really mean? It's a good question. Truth and falsity are what we call truth values that statements hold. We're basically saying, is this how the world is? And true or false are ways to answer these questions. If we're saying true, then we're going to this question and we're saying, yes, the world is this way. If I say, I am your father, and we go to the world, and it's like, is this the world? Yes. Then therefore the statement is true. I am your father. If, however, we go to the world, we check it out, and we're like, nope, this is not the way the world is. I am not your father. Then we say the statement is false. It's a false statement. It has the truth value of false. And so basically what we're saying is that truth values over here give you information for statements about how the world is. They tell you if the world matches up with your statement. There's a connection between statements and the world. What is reality? Now that we have these idea of statements underway, we can talk about these things called arguments. Now an argument is a group of statements. Group meaning two or more. At least two though. In which one of the statements the conclusion is supported by the premises or just one premise in the case that we only have two sentences or two statements I mean you might ask well, what does it mean to be supported what is what is this word supported mean and that's a logical term and we'll get to that later on when we talk about how statements support other statements and the basic rules of logic but for now we'll just accept that supported is defined later and we'll say all right an argument has one statement a conclusion supported some mysterious way by other premises and now we'll come to some examples so this is an argument we have premise one some cats are black all right is that true or false it's true cats are black some dogs are black well that's also true some cats are dog this is our conclusion we're like, whoa, this is not true. This is a false statement over here. What's going on? Why do you have a false statement? Well, we'll get to that later. That's not really important right now. But what is important is that this is a valid, this is a real argument. It's, it's, an argument has a statement here, which is a premise, a statement here, which is also a premise. It's a statement. It can be true or false. And we have another statement, a conclusion, which can be true or false. In this case, it's false. Now let's give an example of a more natural argument, very famous one. It says that all men are mortal. It's a true premise. 
Socrates is a man, or was, but doing in present tenses. It's a statement that says Socrates is a man. And they have a conclusion. Right here. This is also true. And so this is a very common example of an argument in where one conclusion follows from two premises. Now, we'll discuss later how these premises make the conclusion to be true, but for now these are just examples of arguments where one conclusion falls from the premises. And now that we have these idea of arguments, statements, and these truth values, the world being how it really is, we can discuss what logic is. Now logic is a study concerned primarily with the evaluation of arguments, of these things. Logic tells you are these good? Like this one. This is a good argument. Are they bad arguments? And we'll discuss later what it means to be a good argument, what it means to be a bad argument. For now, we just understand what logic is, and logic is the study of these arguments. It can also be defined as the study concerned with what we call the use of reason. It's a great mysterious term. And a lot of times reason is defined as how we use arguments to make points. So that's logic. Logic is a study that tells us whether arguments are good or bad and what makes arguments good or bad. Thanks.